Landing on Mars had never been easy because of its low atmospheric pressure. It was also not an easy task for the rover. It encountered what was labeled seven minutes of terror. Perseverance went offline as ground control lost communications with the rover once it entered the Martian atmosphere. Because of an 11-minute delay in transmissions from Earth to Mars, the rover had to stick to the landing on its own. After getting into the atmosphere, the spacecraft deployed a parachute about seven miles above the surface of Mars. The spacecraft soon separated from the parachute and was lowered onto the surface using a set of cables, and it detached from the cables when its wheels touched Mars. There have been different cases of discovery by the Perseverance rover over the years. The Perseverance rover is a six-wheeled, car-sized Mars rover designed for the Jezero crater part of Mars. It weighs just a ton and is the heaviest rover to land on Mars. The mission is named the Mars Rover Mission, which is formulated to check out signs of ancient microbial life and the quest to further explore human habitation on the planet. On the 30th of July 2020, the Perseverance rover was launched and it landed on the Jezero Crater, a part of Mars that contains a river delta and ancient lakes. A year after the Perseverance rover's launch, many incredible heights have been achieved. Firstly, when the Perseverance rover landed, it did so with another companion. The Ingenuity helicopter, which is around 19 inches tall with two four-foot-long carbon fiber rotors spinning in opposite directions, was able to fit inside the rover. It was then released upon its entrance to Mars. Ingenuity is the first powered, controlled flight of man on another planet. However, the helicopter didn't last long on Mars as it was only able to fly for 40 seconds. Researchers were able to discover that the atmosphere on Mars is about 1% of air thinner than Earth, with a gravity that is 40% lower than Earth's. Ingenuity is only an experimental trial and would be either worked upon to fit in Mars. The first images taken by Perseverance show us a lot about Mars. The first set of images show that Mars may have once housed a delta, branching out into a lake in Jezero Crater. Further analysis of the images show that Jezero Crater has clear signatures of an ancient delta on Mars through long-distance observations. The images are of the western fan-shaped deposit of sediments, the delta. A delta is a landform that emerges as river flow deposit sediment. After taking a better look at the images and analyzing them, the images revealed a delta building out into a lake. The images revealed where Perseverance should head next in order to collect its samples. Perseverance is currently driving toward the delta and targeting similar rocks at the base while en route. These rocks date back to about 3.9 billion years ago, early on in Mars history, when the planet may have been habitable. Perseverance broke the record of being the first Mars rover to drive the longest distance. This was achieved in a day as it traveled over 320 meters. While driving, the Perseverance rover made use of Autonav a self-driving software to find its path along rocks and obstacles. According to Jennifer Trosper, the Mars 2020 project manager at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Perseverance accomplished these feats of driving because the rover is, in essence, capable of thinking for itself. The same technology that allowed Perseverance to analyze the images it took during landing to find a safe place to set down now process the stereo images the rover takes of its surroundings. Perseverance's two navigational cameras, which are mounted on its mast, are set up in such a way that the rover basically has binocular vision as humans do. So, by comparing the images taken by the left and right cameras, it gives the rover depth perception and this allows it to avoid obstacles more easily. It has also collected samples of rocks to assist researchers in gaining knowledge of the rock composition of the Jezero crater. The Perseverance rover was able to discover that some part of the crater floor was formed by lava. The robotic arms of the rover were used in drilling through and grinding into the rocks, and instruments such as the Pixel were able to examine the surface and determine their compositions. Apart from drilling the rocks, the Perseverance rover also zaps them with laser beams. From a distance of 20 meters, the laser zaps on the rocks. A small amount of the rock vaporizes into a hot gas called plasma and the heat and vibration create a shockwave that makes a popping sound. With the Superman instrument attached to the Perseverance rover, the chemical components of the vaporized rock are identified with the camera and spectrometer. The microphone records the popping sound of the rocks after being lasered. This allows the researchers to know the mass of the Martian rocks and their texture. 
Another great achievement is the discovery of organic compounds in the rocks and dust on Mars. Through the Sherlock instrument, the Perseverance rover found organics which are the building blocks of life. However, the source and formation of the organic compounds are still unknown. It only means that there could be possible traces of organisms that once lived on the planet. The principal investigator of the Sherlock instrument, however, assured that when the samples were returned to Earth, the questions would be solved and the organic compound samples would be a source of scientific inquiry and discovery for many years to come. The original mission of the Perseverance rover is to gather samples. After drilling the Rochette rock, Perseverance was able to collect two samples. This was the rover's second attempt at collecting a piece of the red planet and the first successful one. But in August, Perseverance attempted to collect a sample of Martian rock that ended up pulverizing the sample into tiny bits. The second attempt at collecting samples proved to be far more successful as Perseverance was able to drill two holes in the basaltic rock, which means that it may have formed from lava flows. Crystalline minerals in a volcanic rock can help scientists accurately date when the rock formed and could provide a timeline of Mars' history and how its climate changed billions of years ago. A rock known as Brock was found and analyzed in the South Seta region by the Pixel instrument. The analysis showed that there were large olivine crystals found in the Priocene crystals. This discovery means that there is evidence of magma and water many years ago. As explained by Ken Farley, a good geology student will tell you that such a texture indicates that rocks formed when crystals grew and settled in a slowly cooling magma. For example, a thick lava flow, lava lake, or magma chamber. The rock was then altered by water several times, making it a treasure trove that will allow future scientists to date events in Jezero, better understand the period in which water was more common on its surface, and reveal the early history of the planet. A ground-penetrating radar is a very cool feature attached to the Perseverance rover. It's the first Mars rover to use this feature. The radar imager for Mars subsurface experiment, RIMFAX, instrument creates a radar gram of subsurface features up to about 33 feet 10 meters deep. Perseverance obtained the first radar gram at a ridge line between the crater floor fractured rough geologic unit and the SETA geologic unit. The data show that multiple rock formations below the surface all have the same angle of tilt. The SETA rock layers also project below those of the crater floor fractured rough. This implies that SETA was formed before the crater floor fractured rough. In the nearest future, the Perseverance rover still has a total of 37 sample tubes to be filmed. After this, the team of researchers, Mars Sample Return, will be able to study the samples retrieved and discover more about Mars and how habitable it can become. Perseverance will do more than probe the surface. It will also test technologies that astronauts could someday use on Mars, including a system for converting atmospheric carbon dioxide to oxygen. NASA's human spaceflight program aims for a return mission to the moon in the coming years, but Mars remains the horizon goal. What do you have to say about the red planet and the new discoveries? Drop a comment below, as we would love to hear from you.